Everybody, it's Terry again. I just want to finish saying my message to the Christian Americans. Um, you know, your religion is your thing, and I have my religion, which is a Muslim, Islamic um, religion. Long story short, people, um, you Christians are going to have to vote for me, dudes, because long story short, Hillary Clinton can't be trusted and neither can Donald Trump or anybody else running. So, as I said, I used to be a Christian at one time in my life. Um, basically, I have a concept and an idea. It's called world peace. And um, my opponents, Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump, only know how to do one thing. Basically send these dead heroes from my other thing. The NYPD cop that died. Like, where is that, dude? Whatever, dude. He's right here. Like, seriously, dude. Yeah, dude. This fucking asshole, dude. Like, you know... You know, this fucking asshole right there, dude. Right here in the fucking paper, right there. Right there, fucking asshole, dude. Right here. So, like, he's a fucking asshole, dude. And he's dead. And he's gone. Now we can forget about him, dude. Um, you know, America's got to really shape up or ship out, dude. Um, we have Mexicans now. We have black people now. We got Muslims. And we have gay people. And you ignorant white people are going to have to get along with us. Because if you don't... Long story short, I'm going to call that you ignorant white people get singled out and taken out first, dudes. Because, you know, we're not going to allow discrimination in the new America. We are going to have a zero tolerance policy for discrimination against anybody, dudes. I'm going to make sure there's laws, dude. And if you do discriminate and you are found guilty, you are going to be shipped away somewhere where you will not like with the rest of the bad people of society. And it will not be a jail, dude. It will be a place surrounded by barbed wire and people with guns. And if you try to escape that city, you will be shot. Because long story short, we don't have any tolerance left for ignorance in America. Ignorance is not bliss anymore. The more stupid you are, the more faithful you are, the more patriotic you are, the dumber you are. Like, no. Pick up a fucking book and learn how to fucking read. We're in 2016, people. This is not the fucking 1990s anymore. It is not the fucking 80s. And it's not the 50s, dude. You're not gonna call black people niggers anymore. That shit's not gonna be fucking tolerated. You're not gonna call Mexican spicks anymore. You're not gonna call Arab sand niggers. You're not gonna call gay people faggots anymore. Because if you you do, I will make sure that you get put away personally. You will be put on a bus and shipped away to where all the bad people go. Because let me tell you, when I shut the government down, when that government gets shut down, I am going to expect society to carry on as if the government was still a running. So those that do bad will be found guilty and shipped and put away for the rest of their lives. Because society just does not need you people anymore. You people have held us back for so long. So long story short, dudes. I just want to bring this asshole up one more time before we forget about his dead corpse, dude. Like, you know, you're an American and loved your country or whatever, dude. But, like, long story short, if you're a fucking killer, it doesn't matter if you're an American or if you're from ISIS or you're from China or Russia. A killer is a killer. And long story short, not only is God himself going to fuck with you in the afterlife, but we're going to fuck with you right here on earth if I become president. You're going to get shipped away and put away where the rest of the bad people of society go. So let me just bring this dead asshole up one more fucking time, dude. Like, and you know, honestly, if I fucking die, dude, am I going to make the fucking paper? No, dude. So this fucking asshole, dude, you're dead and gone, dude. Like, seriously.
No, dude, we have no... Uh, this is not the 1950s, dude. Black people are not in fucking chains anymore. And they're not going to be in chains anymore. So, you know what? You white people are just going to have to fucking get along with us. Because if you don't, you're basically going to go against society. And society will put your ass away in fucking jail, dude.